The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Book of Wisdom. But the souls of the upright are in the hands of God, and no torment can touch them. To the unenlightened they appeared to die. Their departure was regarded as disaster. They're leaving us like annihilation, but they are at peace. If, as it seemed to us, they suffered punishment, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their correction. Great will their blessings be. God was putting them to the test and has proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a perfect burnt offering. At their time of visitation, they will shine out as sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They will judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. Those who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await his holy ones, and he intervenes on behalf of his chosen. In our response, is taken from Psalm 23. Yahweh is my shepherd, I lack nothing. In grassy meadows he lets me lie. By tranquil streams he leads me to restore my spirit. He guides me in paths of saving justice as befits his name. Even were I to walk in a ravine as dark as death, I should fear no danger, for you are at my side. Your staff and your crook are there to soothe me. You prepare a table for me under the eyes of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup brims over. Kindness and faithful love pursue me every day of my life. I make my home in the house of Yahweh for all time to come. Our second reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. You could not have forgotten that all of us, when we were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. So by our baptism into his death, we were buried with him. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glorious power, we too should begin living a new life. If we've been joined to him by dying a death like his, so we shall be by a resurrection like his realizing that our former self was crucified with him, so that the self which belonged to sin should be destroyed, and we should be freed from the slavery of sin. Someone who has died, of course, no longer has to answer for sin. But we believe that if we died with Christ, then we shall live with him too. We know that Christ has been raised from the dead and will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, Everyone whom the Father gives me will come to me. I will certainly not reject anyone who comes to me, because I have come from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. It is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and that I should raise that person up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord.